What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back another video on the channel. And today we actually went to see The Flash, which is why of course I have my The Flash popcorn bucket. It lights up, y'all wanna see this real quick? Look. So I got a little light up Flash popcorn bucket. We will talk about that. Right now it's about 11 p.m., which means that there's not a lot of restaurants open. So I went to one of my favorite places. Honestly, this is one of my favorite hot chicken places in the area. Fluffy's Hot Chicken is located in Hackensack, New Jersey. And if you are familiar with my content, you already know this, but let me tell the other people. The first time I went to Fluffy's, I really didn't like it at all. And I have a series on my YouTube channel called Last Chance, where I give places that I didn't really enjoy a last chance. Next time I went, the place was amazing. Amazing. Like, I'm talking 9.5 good. Couldn't believe it. So, this is now my fourth time eating Fluffy's Hot Chicken, and it has become my favorite hot chicken spot in the area. Place has rave reviews all over the internet. It's located in Hackensack, New Jersey, like I said, um, and it, it's really, really good. Uh, I, I'm just gonna get into this because I know what I'm eating already. Also, full disclosure, this Nashville hot chicken bowl that I'm about to try, um, this is the owner's favorite thing. Um, I'm saying this because I don't I don't like to lie to people and stuff like that. And I usually don't go to restaurants for this reason, but with places I've been to before, I will recognize me. I didn't say anything. I just walked in, ordered my food, and paid for it. And when I got my bag, he said, hey, man, I love your stuff. Um, and I, I wanted you to try this. Let me know what you think. It's my favorite thing on the menu. So he gave me a Nashville hot chicken. Well, I paid for everything else because I don't like to get my food for free. Um, but let's do this, man. Let's try this out. It's for you. Let me see what's going on. Did I get a spoon? I got a spoon. My damn spoon. I'm eat rice with a fork. That's a knife. Anyway, what's on here is Nashville hot chicken. You can get it with pickles if you like pickles. Your boy don't like pickles. Um, and then you have the fluffy sauce and some rice on the bottom. But I'm going to see what this is like because he said it is his favorite thing to get. I can see why. Let me get some coleslaw. Let me go back in here. Get a nice big bite. Just like this. 100% can see why. My fourth time going. I've said this the last few times I've gone. Their chicken, you get such a large amount of it. It is really good. I love their fluffy sauce, which is here, which is also on there. Only comparison I could give you is if you're a fan of Dave's Hot Chicken, it's like that, but it tastes a lot more homemade and a lot better, where it's got a little bit of sweetness to it that I find enjoyable. I also like that there is an Indian vibe in here because I can totally taste the spices in the rice. So it gives you Nashville hot chicken, but it feels like almost like a little bit of an Indian vibe, which is super enjoyable. So the mix of flavors, if you're not used to it, is something that's a little bit different. And you get so much damn chicken. I'm not sure. There's like four tenders in there. It's almost funny that the first time I had this, I thought it was like mid. And now, I'm such a fan. Other thing I will say, just like to give you an update in the restaurant. I got there at 11 p.m. It was like 10.40. Super packed. Super packed. I mean, there's like 20 people in there. And the location isn't like crazy, you know, like as far as the size. So, good to see it's doing well. Good to see the people enjoy it. I am one of them. That bowl is added right to the rotation. I like the vibe with the rice with it. And that's a big reason why. 9.4 out of 10. And I've had all these already. This is a bomb. We got the filled mac and cheese. This costs $14. And you're going to be like, oh, that's a lot of money. Look at the size of this. This actually think this might be 12. Right got my menu? I left my menu outside. Look at all the mac and cheese. This thing is heavy. Look at this. <laughs> you get a lot of chicken and a lot of food. And their mac and cheese is actually damn good. Mmm. Mmm. Bro, I, I, this bangs. I'm not gonna lie. It's really good. Their mac and cheese is 
slightly creamier than I like for a mac and cheese, but it's not like Velveeta cream or anything like that. It tastes homemade, and the creamy texture mixes really well because you get it with the hot chicken. So you kind of can mix it and get a little bit of that sauce in there. So, normally I would say that the mac and cheese for me needs to have a little bit more congealedness, I guess is the word, but not with this. This is definitely like the right vibe. One of my favorite things, man. That's so good. That's even better than the last time I remember it. Mm. And I think in total, not counting this bowl, it was like 40 and change for people who want to know. And for as much food as you get, it's 100% worth it to me. I love this. Everybody raves about this place, <laughs> and I can see why, like for real. I don't know what happened the first time. Might have just been a one-off, and that's why I give last chances. But that, for me, it's fire. 9.6 out of 10. One of the dopest things that this is the first time I tried it was at this place, was this. This is the Tandoori Chicken Frankie Roll, which is served on naan. And so it's got the Tandoori Chicken. There's a chutney on here, as well as like some, um, some, I can't even damn remember. What's on here? Y'all see it, look, jalapenos, that's what's on there, look. Look how much chicken you get in this damn thing. Like, massive. But the first time I ever had something like this was at this place. And it's my, I don't have a comparison, but let's just go try this, bro. Let me get in here. It's almost like an Indian burrito, bro. Like, mm. what is this? Ranch. When did they start doing ranch? Hmm. I like the idea. Look at that. There's enough chicken in here to feed a family. And it's spiced so well. It's super tender. Get in here. A little bit of that heat, brininess comes from the pickled jalapenos. And then you get these undertones of mint from the chutney. Damn, that's good. Mm. Hold on. I'm over smacking. One more. A little bit of the Frankie sauce. Right there, boom. A little bit of that. I said Frankie sauce, I meant fluffy sauce. Yeah, excuse me. Mm. You gotta try this. I think the first time I get this is 9.5. It's even better this time. Oh my. For real. Like, seriously, it's like an Indian burrito. Like, just brilliant. I don't know if other people eat these or make these other places. I ain't never had it. I'm gonna tell you this. It's gonna be hard to beat this one. I'm gonna be eating a damn paper. One more bite. Mm-hmm. 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 For real. 9.7, of course. Had to get the OG Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Medium with the coleslaw. You want pickles because you're a psycho, you can have it. But the amount of chicken you get on this, again, look at the size of these tenders. Massive. They got to go through a lot of chicken in a day. Classics are a classic for a reason. It's cooked right, it's spiced right, this is medium. The first time I got this, the chicken was so small that it barely fit in the bread. Like, there was mad bread compared. This time, this is how you're supposed to do it. Every single time from then on. You can't go wrong with a classic. And they season that thing for real with the seasoning. Mm. I got, what is this? I don't remember. Fanta grape. Nice choice, me. I'll be forgetting, bro. I'll be doing so many different things. But the chicken sandwich for me, I just like the other creations more than just a chicken sandwich. 
and that's the only reason why I'm ranking this lower. The flavor of the chicken is damn near the same. I just like the other flavors that go with everything. So that gets a 9.3 out of 10. Let's talk Flash. This movie is highly anticipated by a lot of people. Myself included. Like, I was so ready to see this movie. And I'm glad I went. It was mid. Like, it was mid. And I was a little disappointed. I'm not going to lie. There were some good things, right? Like, okay. There's a part of me that finds it really weird to watch movies with Ezra Miller in, in it now. Because of all the things that have gone on like behind it, it's like weird for whatever reason. Like I, I usually am good at differentiating the character from the person. But in this case, I don't know why I can't. But I'm not including that in why I thought the movie was mid. I just wanted to say it. I thought the story was like there was too much going on and I prefer more of a linear plot. I don't feel like the plot was very linear. I also feel like the fan service was a bit much. I knew going into it that we were going to see Michael Keaton and like most people who are millennials and up, your first live action Batman was probably Michael Keaton. So that was cool. But there's a part of me with that fan service kind of thing that I feel like if I want to watch Michael Keaton play Batman, I'll go watch 1989's version of Batman. No disrespect to him because I, I think it's still iconic. I just don't really need it. It wasn't really necessary. This movie goes in a route that I feel like every superhero movie route is going now. It's so formulaic that I think I'm just getting tired of this stuff. Nothing surprises me anymore. Everything now, and you already know this because it's in the preview, that they've gone a route of like a multiverse because Michael Keaton is in it playing Batman when Ben Affleck is Batman in that universe. So I'm just getting sick of this multiverse thing. I feel like it's just becoming like so much of like ho-hum. It's boring now. I never cared for it in the first place, but now everything is headed that route and I've been one of the biggest speakers against it. I keep saying the same things, but this movie didn't need a two and a half hour runtime. It just didn't. It also doesn't need these freaking post-credit scenes that you guys, I don't know if you guys like those, but I can't stand them. I can't stand, I can't stand post-credit scenes. I, stop making me sit down for three minutes for a one minute little scene. Like, it was cool in the beginning, but at this point, it's just standard. And that's how I feel about the plot. That's how I feel about the CGI, which is way too much in my opinion. The whole movie CGI. The whole thing. Like, I know because it's Flash, it has to be, but it's a lot. There's a lot of de-aging. There's a lot of... It just looked really CGI to me. But... They're doing the same thing in every movie now. Right? We got multiverses. We do some fan service. We're going to bring back characters that people of all age brackets probably love to hide the fact that the plot is subpar. And they're doing it in every movie now. Like, there's always... All I can hear... And I'm a fanboy myself, so I'm not saying this derogatory-wise where there was patches of fanboys, the movie was sold out, just clapping every five seconds. There's too much now. Like, I feel like, like, well, this movie's not that good. What can we do? Oh, we'll just bring in Michael Keaton. All right? And it just becomes that. Um, Ezra Miller is pretty ho-hum Barry Allen. Like, you, if you've seen all the stuff with Justice League, um, you know how he's going to act. He's going to have a little humor. Um, it's pretty cool that, and you've seen this in the preview, there's multiple Barry Allens um, that... One is like, because he's grown as a character, one is like the less mature version, and there's banter and stuff like that, uh, but overall, I found it, like, enjoyable, but mid. <clears throat> like, Thor mid. And I see Rotten Tomatoes has an audience review of 98%. I don't 
I'm not one of them. So I don't know if I'm just not that. But I, I don't know. It just felt like DC just said, okay, well, Marvel does a lot better sh than us. Then let's just do everything Marvel did. That's what it felt like to me. It just, it didn't feel right. I don't know. Will I watch this movie again? Probably not. I'm going to be real with you. But it's okay. It's okay. Like, I thought Thor Love and Thunder was mid. This is that level of mid for me. It's just mid. I bet people thought I was going to say something else. I did. I walked in like, yo, this movie's going to be awesome. The preview made it look awesome. I don't know. It just it didn't do it for me. Um, so, would I recommend you spend your money and watch it? You're gonna anyway if you were gonna. It's a comic book movie. That's what that, and that's what they're banking on at this point. They just they want to make really long comic book movies with post credit scenes and and multiverses and fan service, and it's just becoming. They're doing it too much now. It's like every three days, it's the same stuff. That's just my opinion. I want to see. Spider Man is the only movie I've watched recently that pulled off the multiverse thing and it worked. No Way Home. And, and, and Into the Spider-Verse. So the only movies that I watched where I didn't mind it. It worked in that situation because they more banked on having multiple Spider-Mans intertwining instead of having multiple everyone of everything with anything intertwining. So it's just, I don't know. I'm getting frustrated with comic movies. They gotta do something. They gotta do something. <laughs> That's passion. I grew up with comic book movies. I love comic book movies. I love comic books. It's just... From going from the high of, of it across the Spider-Verse to the low of whatever the f this was, it was so disappointing. I just got to be real. Um, out of five stars, I give two and a half stars. Mid. Right in the middle. There's some good scenes, though. Not to say it was all awful. I'm not saying it was awful. Mid is not awful in my book. Mid means mid. So, to walk in with that hype, we didn't get it. And I'm going to go brush my teeth to get the taste of this horrible movie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I will go watch it, though. Anyway, I've uh, eaten half a thing of mac and cheese out of uh, frustration eating. This food is delicious, man. You gotta check them out. I'm gonna go make some friends. God on the vibes, though. Appreciate y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the food. We'll be back tomorrow. More content. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.